some advice, you with someone, knowing someone that knew somebody else, and eventually it just worked its way up the chain. By that time, we'd actually ripped my snowmobile, a Ski-Doo, an 04 Ski-Doo, apart, because we were planning on using that, because I didn't think that anybody would give us a snowmobile. Turns out a month later, I'm on the phone with um, Scott Ostrowski from Polaris. He's the head of the RMK uh, design platform, and uh, he said he was shipping us out of sleds for free. It's a 2008 Dragon with a 155 and uh, the 2010 motor package. Uh, the whole point of the project was to drop weight and increase strength and stiffness. We got a bunch of tooling foam, uh, urethane tooling foam donated to us, and we did a CNC uh, cutout machining of that tooling foam to create the plug we needed. The uh, three-point bend, bend test is for, it's a sandwich sample composite to see uh, how those material properties matched up to aluminum. And it's way stronger and way lighter. <laughs> Strength to weight on sandwich carbon fiber is uh, through the roof compared to what aluminum is. Then we did, ended up making a carbon fiber mold uh, out of that, using that plug. I figured that we, did the lamp for the actual tunnel, which took about, out of the machine time on that, took probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 hours, 25 hours. But it was worth it, because when it came out, it weighed 13 pounds down from the 30 pounds of the aluminum tunnel weighed. So I had to redo the cooling system, and uh, we ended up using a uh, radiator with uh, thermostat control to the dual fans to, to maintain a reasonable running temperature. <laughs> Considering uh, a bunch of amateurs that didn't know anything, put it together and designed the whole thing, everything just fit. We took the stock components and put them with custom components and everything just worked. The cooling system worked. Uh, we didn't burn anything up. We didn't break anything. It just ran, it ran smooth.
like, I mean, even with the newest sleds coming out, they can only take out so much material, and aluminum is a lot, it's pretty easy to work with as far as machinability and welding, but eventually they're going to reach a point where they can't take any more out, <laughs> and if they want to keep dropping weight, then they're going to have to switch materials, so I'm hoping this is kind of a step in that direction, uh, being kind of up on things before everybody else is. Carbon fiber is, uh, can be made to be extremely stiff where you want it to be and not as stiff and wherever you don't need it to be. And same way with uh, weight, so you can get strength where you need it and cut it out where you don't need it. And, and the strength 